recently, a wonderfully adorable dog named Nori who lives with his owners in Seattle, USA went viral online for having a face that looked more human than canine. Yes, another strange animal shocking people on the internet. Only this one lives in water instead of on land. The rather unusual fish has been spotted in a lake in China which appears to have some very odd markings on its face, causing it to look quite human. A visitor to a village outside the city of Kuming in South China captured this video of the creepy carp, which was also shared on the Chinese social media platform Weibo. People were understandably freaked out by the sight. One person said, This is scary. Another replied, Who dares to eat it? Whilst one user yelled, Holy big big! Someone else wrote, I am so freaked out right now. In truth, this isn't the first time someone has seen a human like carp. Back in 2010, a 44-year-old British man named Brendan O'Sullivan had claimed he had purchased a car five months before that had begun to develop human-like facial features. O'Sullivan from Dagenham said, It was astonishing. I could easily make out from the markers two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. I thought I was suffering from sunstroke. The fish itself was believed to be worth an estimated £40,000! What?! <laughs> hey! Get annoyed at this! A university in Holland, Europe, offers students a grave to lie in to cope with... <laughs> hey, get this! Exam stress! Wrightboard University and Jamaican Holland has dubbed what they're claiming to be a purification grave to help students reflect on the futility of their existence. The university has come up with an unusual method of helping its students cope with exam stress. A grave to meditate in. Okay, so we know many universities worldwide have been trying to offer a range of alternative therapies to help students suffering from anxiety during their exam periods. Some have offered therapy sessions such as dark sessions, mindfulness meetings, and even designated quiet spaces. But Nong University has gone quite as far as Radboud University. Located in the Dutch city of Jamaica, they recently went viral after an alumni revealed their unique approach to managing student stress. A grave! The grave located behind the student chapel is an open grave, and albeit not being operational in the strictest sense of the word, it has become very popular at the university, with people almost dying to get in it. Dying? Hey, I suppose exam stress can feel somewhat like that at the time, but seriously? I mean, how would I know? I don't have any exams. Ha! Huh? The purification grave equipped them at blanket, and yoga them at allowed for comfortable, if a tad morbid. Meditation. But according to a member of staff who's the project's founder, John Hacking, at the student chapel, the grave was actually about making students appreciate their time on this planet a little more. John told local journalists that the, the end of life, death is a taboo, difficult for students. Death is very difficult to talk about, especially when you are 18, 19, 20. Hey! A logo has popularized the grave, serving posters put up all around the university under the name Memento Mori, which in Latin translates to, remember, you will die. <laughs> the grave experience can be booked for a minimum of 30 minutes and up to three hours. What? High winds cause waterfall to flow backward. A visitor to Ireland's Cliffs of Moher on the midway coast of Ireland captured video of high winds causing a waterfall's water to flow backward. Guy McNabb said, Can you believe it? I was hiking with friends on the golden side of the cliffs 
when I saw the waterfall spray water backward onto the cliffs to be sure it was happening. The water was being blown back by the high winds. Meanwhile, Gary McNabb captured this video of the phenomenon and posted it online. 